Welcome back to Banana Republic Adventures. Uh, today, Madison and I are up at Green Ridge again. It is... I've uh, never been here. Yes, Madison has never been. You can't say again if I'm here. That's true. Well, I've been. This will be me again. So, And we actually have Torby with us. Um, Marty had to stay home, uh, work, and uh, we thought we would come out um, this just for a night out up here. Um, it's a little chilly, it's supposed to get warmer tonight. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we're only gonna stay one night, hopefully avoid the rain. Uh, today is, what, uh, February 16th, so we will get on the road here, on the trail, we're just getting ready to enter in, and we're going to Site 50, so we will let you know once we get there. Probably share some stuff on the way. All right, so we're up on top of the mountain looking for Site 50. Um, actually, what's that? That's 34. All right, so we're in the 30s. That was Where'd 34. You see that? It was right on top of the wooden post. I can't read. <laughs> yes, you can. I never learned how. <laughs> well, you'll see the next one. Um, the if you remember in our first video, or Marty in my first video, we did uh, 35, and um, yeah, that one I would not recommend to anybody. That was kind of right up against someone's property. So we looked at the map. A lot of the places up here are closed. I'm guessing because there was snow up here and stuff. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think they should try and leave as many open as they can. But there's a lot of them closed, especially the one that we were that I was hoping to get when we came up. Um, but we weren't able to get that, so I'll have to try that next time. So we're going to Site 50. Um, we're following the map. To we have uh, Google Maps and Gaia Maps up and running. Uh, guy is recording Google supply surprisingly can provide directions to the sites in here I'm guessing mainly because it's probably a lot of county road up in here um, looks like they even have plowed it um, in certain areas so um, yeah once we get closer we will let you know The main reason for our adventure today is to set up our new Gazelle 4 Plus hub tent for the first time. Do you need me to stand there and let you hand them to me? Here. Oh, go ahead. Give me a second. Just exploring. I thought she was going further down the hill. <laughs> just couldn't see you. It's like that youngest sibling. Got this crop strap. Not that heavy. It is for one person. It's all big and awkward. Do you want it? Okay. Well, that 
They're not bending. Yeah, this time. Okay. Yeah. And these kind of garbage are cheap. I'll just uh, get more of the other type. Yep, there you go. I'm not going to worry about the two side ones. Kind of keeps on top of this, so. The whole thing is gonna blow away if you don't use this. <laughs> Look, why don't we put paw prints on the ladder? What? Why don't we put paw prints on the ladder? No, we should. Be right here. Corby? side there. So we can stake it down. Climb one in on this side, top to center. Should I take my shoes off? Um, okay, well, this is the porch area, so if it's, see what it looks like. Go ahead and you know that. It's already dirty in here. Yeah, it's a grass is from the front yard. See? And then come out here and we'll, we'll, we'll situate it properly. Zip this up for more tension. Hold on. Okay, can't hear you. Hold on. Okay, so let's do that corner first.
Alright, this one in. Being a pioneer is so hard. Oh no. Just so long to weave all this fabric and sew it together. Don't even sew it together. Saw all these logs and build this house. Ouch, 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 look at that. Oh, okay. Just don't bend over. Yeah. Puppy. Take your front pole and stick in this silver pole. Take your back pole. Is it supposed to go all the way in? I huh? Can't, I can't get mine all the way. It just goes in. Oh, I got it. Never mind. Yeah. Alright, go back in the tent and pop the, the, the bed infection up. And then do the same with the front. Tent. videos that I watch and stuff. No. Alright, so here's what you need to peg out. And these are elastic, so you'll need four, one on each side. Is she, is she got a stick? It's an old hot dog. Right in the fire. There's probably more charcoal than hot dogs, so. And what are you going to, I mean, you can throw it in the trash bag, I guess, but. Uh, and she can throw up out here if she needs it. Yeah. Need so you'll need one on each. So only one? Uh, no, there's two traps. Yeah, you said one. I just thought. I said two. Don't gaslight me. Well, but it's okay to make the heat feel stupid. Okay. Yeah, because you know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. front peg that I forgot about, so. I asked if there was a front peg, you said there wasn't. Yeah, I was wrong. 
It's sitting here for you to hammer in. Okay, so we've gotten camp set up. I have a propane tank there. I'm going to sleep in the front section. Madison is going to take the back section. And we have a buddy heater in here, and that's what the propane tank is going to outside the tent. So we'll see how that works out. Then there is the bathroom. And Madison is working on cutting some wood. And there's the vehicle and there's a fire pit. So, everybody's starting on dinner here in a minute. And um, Torvi's over there goofing off playing. She's been running around like crazy. So, hopefully she's worn herself out a little bit. And sleep. we'll sleep well tonight. So, Madison's struggling a little bit. That uh, saw is kind of garbage. I need to get a new one. So, um, probably hit it against a tree or something. Might be able to break it. All right, so here's dinner. We got a big London broil to share between the two of us. Um, I also got some pasta, but I thought I grabbed the type that you could just add water. It requires milk too, but uh, I don't have that. So we'll be winging it a little bit, I guess. Um, I'm sure it'll still be fine. It's just something to get in our stomachs. So, and uh, Madison's over there working on the fire. Everything's kind of wet. So we're struggling a little bit with it, but uh, give me a Chick fil A combo and try that again. All right, sounds good. We have some Chick fil A paper cups from our lunch today, so we'll give that a try. All right, so we started dinner. So, Grace, there's the John Mueller's Madison, a big old uh. Um, Big old steak, London broil. There's our noodles. Well, I'm not creamy enough, but you know how. They're fine. We'll make do. They're still actually pretty so, good. This is the uh, Civil War set that Madison got me for what was it, Christmas? I think it was Christmas. I don't know, but I got them from a thrift store and you didn't wash them. I know, and they taste good. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yum, children's and then, boogers. Right, and then the knife. Uh, yeah, it didn't, so it's not sharp enough, so I'm using Madison's little knife, um, because I forgot mine. Um, we were, I was in kind of a bit of a hurry to get out here. I wanted to test the tent for the first time outside and all, so, um, we made schedule change plans and I kind of rushed myself, so, but anyhow, we're getting going and Madison got the fire going there, so in a little bit, it gets warmed up, we'll go sit next to that. And uh, as you can see, the sun out there is kind of getting ready to go down. So we'll probably hit the hay in a little while. After we Dad's go. doing the dishes. And Torvi's doing the dishes too. Want some more? Did you get it all off? That's good, huh? Yeah, it looks like she's done. Good job, Torvi. Yay, what a good dishwasher. I know. Uh-oh. You can break the washing machine. It's so useful. <laughs> so we had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Uh, we're breaking down camp now. Um, it's supposed to rain at around 1, so we want to get broken down and um, out of here way before that. So we drive around a little bit, check out some other areas. <clears throat> but we're going to, like I said, break down camp and then um, eat real quick and, and then head out. So. Torby, Torby, out of, no, out of the fire pit. Torby's searching for things to do, playing around this morning, so. But, yep, we'll get back to you soon. Someone slept well. 
Did you sleep well, Torvi? You have a lot of energy. You got dirt in your mouth. You been digging? Yeah. No, don't get in the fire pit. As you can see, we were not successful of getting a fire going last night, but everything's a little damp, as you can see with the kind of muddy area. So, what you doing? <clears throat> hmm? All right, so I wanted to uh, show our cots that we've had for over 10 years. That one there um, broke last time on a center section, so it wasn't too bad. Madison was able to use that. And then last night, uh, this one, as you can see, it at the head end actually fractured and broke. Um, so I don't remember what brand they are. I could probably try and figure it out, but... It lasted over 10 years. They did their, served their purpose, I feel like. Um, plus, they're a little bit long for this tent, so I gotta find something that'll work better. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, they snapped, so I had to turn around because the head area ended up dropping down. I had to sleep on the opposite end, and the way you can tell is this head end has a padded area and it actually sits up a little higher, <clears throat> whereas the foot doesn't. But wasn't a big deal I just like I said I turned around so these will be going to the dump and we will get some new ones and uh, do a review on those and see how they hold up all right so Matt and I walked down the trail behind our um, campsite it's I think a utility road really it had a sign don't no vehicles and then obviously here's the telephone poles power lines. power lines sorry good call thank you um, power lines going out that way to the right if i climbed up and touched it would i die probably uh -huh. and then off to the left so yeah didn't realize they were back here uh, madison walked down here earlier so we thought we'd just take a short little walk before we get in the car again and start going so did you sleep well last night Kind of, yeah, kind well of. Enough. Well our enough. Cot was falling apart. Yeah, our cots—they're you know. they're going into the dump, so um, we're throwing those away. But yep, so we wanted to let Torby run around a little bit. She hasn't, she hasn't eaten. She's being a little stubborn, so. But that's fine. We'll get on the road, get something to eat, maybe share some stuff with her or something. Once we get home and Mom makes food for her, she'll eat it. Exactly, exactly. So, did you have a good time, Torby? Huh? Yeah. I know, so much to see. All right, uh, we will catch back up with you in a little while. For this very icy downhill section, Madison got out of the car, walked down the hill in front of me, and spotted me to help me get down the hill. She then recorded her walk down to the car on the slippery Ooh. ice. Oh, we're back. Okay, so um, we finished our trip. Madison and I got off the mountain. Uh, it was a little sketchy there for a little bit. We had went down a, uh, a ice road a little, um, had to ride a lot of the edges. Um, I think Madison got some video, so I'll try and get that up and share uh, what that looks like. Um, it was a little slippery though, so we'll see how that turned out. Um, but thanks for joining us, and we will see you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and we will see you on the next adventure.
Thanks, and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.